जो चुपके रहने से बाहर आने का जो चुपके रहने से बाहर आने का जो और व्हाट वी कॉल एज सेलिब्रेशन फ्रॉम द क्लोसेट मेंट अस्यूमिंग एंड असर्टिंग फ्रीडम ऑफ इमेजिनेशन सो ही इज एक्चुअली काइंड ऑफ असर्टिंग हिज इमेजिनेशन इज राइट टू इमेजिनेशन ही इज फ्रीडम टू इमेजिन The bizarre in Kakka's art is very important, uh, derived from his unresolved or unsulje uh, perceptions, that is dharana, perceptions of being a gay subject. Wo khud gay ko kaisa gayness kya hota hai, ye bhi malum karna bahut muskil hota hai. Main aisa ajeeb kyun ho? Aur ye ajeeb क्या है एक कैसे डिफरेंट है और कैसे मैं एंजॉय करता हूँ वो समझ रहा है तो द मोमेंट ऑफ वंडरमेंट ऑन वन हैंड देर इज ए सरप्राइजिंग थिंग अबाउट एंड एन अनबिलीवेबिलिटी अबाउट हिमसेल्फ हाउ एम आई एंजॉइंग इट सो मच यू नो विच द सोसाइटी से इज इट्स रॉन्ग बैड अनरियल अन नेचुरल एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा बट इट कम्स टू मी ना सो नेचुरल right so unbelievability about one's own sexuality and also what is that force that makes me come out is also somewhat surprising so the entire thing about one's closetedness coming out what one is imagination right to kind of uh, disclose etc etc all this actually becomes somewhat very 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 a moment of wonderment surprise etc etc are in, inherent in this uh, right from the beginning we have also mentioned that jaan booch ke bhupen khakkar logon ko tang karta hai taunt karta hai flaunt karta hai bola na uska nature aisa tha maine bola na koi koi gallery shows mein वो ऐसा ड्रेसअप करता था ऐसा पिक्चर शो करते थे सो ही वॉज काइंड ऑफ डेलिबरेटली वॉज इंटरेस्टेड इन शॉकिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो एन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट उसका पेंटिंग देखे थोड़ा झटका आना चाहिए तभी उसको मजा आता है समझ चले ना तो एक्चुअली इट वॉज सो अभी तुम लोगों को शायद लगता नहीं होगा कई बार देखने के बाद ये टू मैन इन बनारस में पहली बार बड़ोड़ा में देखा तो मेरा मैं क्या देख रहा हूँ ऐसा हो गया ऐसा कैसे कोई दिखा सकता है समझ रहे ना और एक्चुअली ही डिड नॉट शो इट इन एन गैलरी ही शोड इट इन एन आर्किटेक्ट ऑफिस करंट ग्रोवर्स ऑफिस इट्स अ वर्किंग ऑफिस राइट एंड ही इन्वाइटेड पीपल टू गो देर एंड सी सोच रहे हैं ना तो डरता था और स्ट्रैटेजी भी था कैसे ये सब दिखाए लोगों को मेन गैलरी दिल्ली बॉम्बे में रखेगा तो आल लोगों को बहुत छटका लगेगा ये सब देख के और शायद कुछ ट्रबल भी हो सकता है क्योंकि उस टाइम में हुसैन को प्रॉब्लम होना शुरू हो रहा था राइट सो ही वॉज वेरी कनिंग ऑल्सो वेरी श्रूड शार्प जानबूझ के शौक करना उसका आ, मजा आता था आज से और लेकिन वो चुपचाप करते थे और अपने आप को बचाते थे सो दिस इज अ वेरी गुड थिंग अबाउट उपेन कक्कर सो बट ही नेवर स्टॉप्ड हिज एक्साइटमेंट ही वॉज ऑलवेज एक्साइटेड अबाउट एक्सप्लोरिंग ईच थीम विच इज वेरी क्लियरली सीन इन इज पेंटिंग नो आई मीन नो थीम इज एक्चुअली रिपीट्स वन थिंग ईच टाइम ही डज समथिंग इट समथिंग न्यू right uh, there may be something what you can relate it to some other painting but uh, uh, each time he is doing a new 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 themes his observations now i call this as radical speech act this is actually a formulation uh, of michael michel foucault the french philosopher who talks about radical speech act uska ek crude anuvad maine kiya hai ugra vak vyapar 
ये थोड़ा मुश्किल से मैं ये मैं सोचा बीच में कि मैं अंकित को कांटेक्ट करूं और ये सब पूछूं बट मैं खुद सेल्फ रिलेंट हो गया आज तो थोड़ा ये जो उग्र वाक व्यापार जो है इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ही इट्स एन एक्टिविस्ट एक्ट to be outspoken to be talking about one sexuality one you know minority sexuality but he himself rejected constantly bupen rejected being an activist main to activist nahi hu shiv ji main khali ek artist hu ye tha uska hamesha ka jo uh, jo sentence jo activists are they are actually bahut outright striking for यू नो देर राइट्स ये हटाओ वो हटाओ ये बनाओ ये मैरिज एक्ट बनाओ थ्री सेवेंटी सेवन हटाओ राइट यू नो दैट एल जी बी टी क्यू लिबरेशन मूवमेंट इज ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड दे आर डिमांडिंग वेरियस थिंग्स एंड भूपेन से नो आई एम नॉट एन एक्टिविस्ट आई एम ओनली ए पेंटर सो बट वॉट ही इज डूइंग थ्रू हिज आर्ट इज वॉट आई कॉल एज उग्रवाक व्यापार बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग व्यापार हो रहा है उसके पेंटिंग से ये शौक जो वैल्यू जो आप बोल रहे हैं ना वो आपको थोड़ा चिंतित करेगा ये क्यों कर रहा है ठीक है ना सो इस फ्रम ए प्रिमाइज ऑफ बात इट इज ये कहाँ से आता है ये सवाल है ये आता है उसका उसका मार्जिनलिटी से उसका अधिकार हीन होने के वजह से This is somewhat similar to Dalit issues also or women's issues also. जिसको अधिकार नहीं है जिसको डिस्क्रिमिनेट किया हुआ है वो ही उग्र भाषा बोलेंगे समझ रहे हो ना तो वन फ्रॉम ग्रे आइडेंटिटेरियन आइडेंटिटेरियन इज पहचानवादी जो आइडेंटिटेरियन पोलिटिक्स से आता है इट इज पोलिटिकल दिस काइंड ऑफ स्पीच एक्ट इज पोलिटिकल Uh, and that of playing out an unusual bahut hi vichitra riti ka subjectivity hai ye bahut vichitra riti ka banavat hai is ye aadmi ke andar ye gay man ke andar ye lesbian aurat ke andar ek transgender ke andar samajh rahe na to i hope it is not troubling hmm. Now you just see some of these paintings by Pupin, uh, just for fun. I hope you can derive some fun out of it. That the title says that how many hands do I need to declare my love to you? It's a man hugging another man, right? Making him sit in on his lap and hugging. He, the one man has almost like ten hands. How many hands do I need to declare? Because a विश्वासी नहीं होता है मैं कितने बार भी बोलूँ तुमको मैं तुमको प्यार करता हूँ खाली सेक्स नहीं प्यार करता हूँ बट होता नहीं है विश्वास ही नहीं होता है जो करना है वो तो शादी करना है औरत से सोच रहे हैं ना ए कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एग्जिस्ट इन द गे वर्ल्ड अबाउट नॉन बिलीव अबाउट द अदर पर्सन अदर पार्टनर सो Bupen Ghakkar, who remained unmarried, who is asking, almost asking his uh, partner, that how many hands do I need to declare my love to you? This is also an imaginary, very false kind of uh, reality that there is no such thing as 30th wedding anniversary in a gay man's life. It's impossible to have such a reality, such a day in your life. so picture it is titled as picture taken on their 30th wedding anniversary is 1998 so another very bizarre very unusual work by him is uh, uh, one man dressed as a female so there are these roles in gay uh, relationship uh, yes you can sit there you said be as well you said sir this particular way of dressing up like a female is actually imitated from sri nath ji vaishnava sampradaya you know 
There are some paintings of Sakhi Bhav by Bhupan Gagar. I'm not showing it here. But that's a very religious, from, drawn from a religious context where the Pandit or the Pujari is supposed to dress up as a female, as Radha, for worshipping Krishna. Now, this is actually something very interesting twist that he makes, the Sakhi Bhava, that a man identifying himself as a female. Actually, in the whole of Krishna Bhakti movement, it is ideally the Bhakta should be, be like a female in relation to Krishna. Right? So that is a very peculiar thing. All moustached, muscular men have to feel like be to have a female if they have to love Krishna. Right? It's very unusual, very unusual. So that element he is using here. Now, as I mentioned in the 90s, late 80s, 90s, his paintings go through a very ter terrible transformation of uh, this disconnect that there is no definite action that you can identify about them. They are very floating, they are very confusing. You don't know whether they are kissing or hugging or they are hating each other or pushing away, something which I earlier also mentioned, right? So uh, uh, these are some, some of those examples of you have this very confusion, very deliberately confused kind of. This is actually there in his uh, short stories also. By the way, Bupen used to write short stories. It's co has collect, collected as Bupen short stories. <coughs> Some of you, if you are interested, should read that. There you have this kind of narrative. You meet a guy and it's just for a night stand. And then it, uh, he goes, so I mean, you are really confused. You know, he must have said some lovely words to you, whether to take that seriously or not, you know. So, whole lot of uh, uh, confusing and enigmatic meaning that you find in his, uh, uh, in his works. So, these are all part of that. Bhupen's coming, I want to now historically contextualize it. I'm saying it because... I'm saying historically contextualizing because all of you are trying to do that in relation to the thematic that you are working on for the workshop, right? Some of you, sorry. Uh, Kaka's coming out of the closet or khulasa, jo uska khulasa hai, and uske baad ka jo time ye hai, coincides with gay liberation identity politics in India. That is the context that you, historical context that one has to identify with. Now, coming, uh, coming to disclosure or a kulasa karna, coming out of the closet, is, is a major step for a, uh, assuming an identity or pachanwadi rajniti karne ke liye, pachanwadi rajniti karne ke liye, Often it is said, no? Kyu, kyu, kyu pachan vadi karna hai? Jo karna hai karo, enjoy karo, kon rokta hai? Noch rana. The problem is when people come together as a political movement, right? That is where objections come. Otherwise, you can do it. Who, who bothers? That's between two people, right? In your secrecy, you may do it. So, uh, the step in assuming identity, so that there's a difference between sexual act and politics. For politics, it is a must that you should actually come to, come out of the closet and declare your uh, identity. So, it is identity, uh, identity uh, as a, as a identitarian politics, identitarian politics or Pachanwadi uh, Rajniti. So this is in this context that in the 80s you have major movements in India. I'm talking about, not talking about the Western world. Already in Western world, much has been happening uh, post Second World War, post 60s at least. In India, you have the earliest uh, manifestations of people coming together in terms of their sexuality uh, is Bombay Dost which has actually reached out to a large number of people who were closeted and gave them a chance to communicate with each other. So this was actually people like um, Ashok Rao Kavi in Bombay. 
He's the organizer of Ham Suffer Trust, the very uh, important, uh, you know, activist uh, there. Uh, now, it is in the same decade of 80s that Bhupen also is coming out of the closet. Now, Bhupen was drawing his energies of coming out of the closet because he was in the 70s going abroad, particularly London, where he was actually seeing gay men living together and sharing their lives together. So, but at the same time, he was not coming out of the closet in the 70s because his mother was still alive and he didn't want to hurt his mother. So he had to wait for her to uh, pass away and it is after that he comes out. So historically that is in, in a particular, so 80s is a very significant period for gay disclosure in India and Bhupan's work, you know, there are these uh, examples of, this is also the time, very importantly, that HIV as a uh, epidemic had been spreading so rampantly all over in the world. The fear of HIV, uh, 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 you know, AIDS was a reality in the 80s and 90s. And it is for this actually government was funding these guys. You get this point? Activism was, no funding was being given for, for you to come out of the closet. It was not the benefit for the benefit of anybody to come out of the closet, but it was actually to stop HIV, spreading of the HIV positive, right? Uh, this um, uh, lady, uh, uh, who is that uh, Bombay, Delhi, ka jo, uh, inspector, uh, police, uh, huh? Kiran Bedi. She refused to circulate uh, condoms in the Tihar jail for preventing uh, this thing. So she's known, noted for that particular act because of the moral morality that was involved, right? Uh, uh, right. So, uh, uh, but government funded uh, a lot of these NGOs to run awareness campaigns. So they will go to public places where gays meet, they will uh, freely distribute condoms, etc., etc., and also kind of make people aware of it. So this kind of advertisement that used to come in Bombay, those. So I am saying that it is through default, it's by default that activism was happening. It was not straightway funding for activism. Uh, these are some other um, uh, pages of Bombay Dose that was coming to us like a blessing in disguise. You know, we were kind of very happy uh, to... I myself has put an advertisement there, searching for a partner. So, a lot of people who were doing that at that time. Uh, there are also this kind of uh, pamphlet that were brought out and all that. So these are all part of the archive. But it is also, sorry, I took this out. I'm feeling a little hot there. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to put, it's not good probably. No, it is in the 90s that you have more such developments like uh, Yarana, the first collection of uh, gay literature gay short stories by, edited by Hoshang Merchant. He himself is a poet in Hyderabad University. He has retired. Another very important publication is Same Sex Love in India, edited by Ruth Vanita and Salim Kidwai. The, uh, Salim, it's okay? No. Uh, Salim Kidwai was in, um, how many of you know? He was in Lucknow. He was also an English professor. Uh, this Ruth Vanita is also an English professor. They collected all <coughs> uh, 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 sources from tradition which refers to Samalangic uh, references, right? <coughs> That's a Hindi word that they use <coughs> for LGBTQ, including transgender and uh, uh, also hijras, etc., etc. So these were happening. Also, <coughs> we were discovering things from tradition when um, uh, uh, Kajarahu, uh, where you have 
uh, oh, oh, so much of uh, lib celebration of sexuality is represented. Uh, homosexuality is also celebrated. So questions were being asked to gurus, Hindu gurus like Krishna, Nitya Chaitanya Yati, as to what is this uh, Samalangik Sobhav and all that. He is very coolly explaining it off, saying that human sexuality is multi multiple. You know, it's not just that man, woman is the only fact, but there are so many shades of human sexuality. Right? And so there is a there is no need for actually to anybody to get panic about it. So this kind of information started coming from the late 90s. Uh, th these are four lesbian women shown in Fajaraho. Uh, 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 now it's the same time that you have cinema like Fire. First uh, uh, lesbian theme cinema came out in 1997. There was a big halla gulla. There was, if you go to the censor of this uh, in the strikes against uh, this Mira, uh, what is her name? Mira, Mira Nair. Uh, you have, you had almost there was a court case, and finally the court said that it can be shown, etc., etc., without cuts. So two, three years it continued. All the fringe groups of Hindu, uh, this thing was up against it. We can discuss why it was so later on. But I'm only referring to that. And also same time you have uh, a, a, a LGBTQ, sorry, a gay film, uh, Love Between Two Boys, uh, and the first case of uh, HIV AIDS in Goa, in India. And the role of the sister and the family in that uh, story. How many of you have seen it? I don't know. It's a film by Onir, right? Uh, it's a wonderful, uh, very touching movie um, uh, 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 of that time. Of course, it had been also uh, made into a kind of very, um, a very funny kind of narration in Dostana later in 2008 by Karan Johar. Mm, anything can be made into a commercial thing, right? So there is a certain jocular thing about Dostana, about it. Actually, these two men are not gay, but they're pretending themselves to be gay, etc., etc., etc. So, like that. Now, this is also that many gay journals came out in the uh, 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 2000s. You have uh, activists kind of standing and kind of shouting slogans and uh, annually they do this kind of processions, uh, gay parades in um, uh, Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta, Hyderabad, Bangalore, uh, Baroda, even smaller towns, etc. I don't know whether it's happening in uh, Banaras. No, I don't think so. No. But uh, many, many Indian towns and cities have gay, gay pride. Actually, October is the play time gay pride is actually performed by, in, by the groups, very various groups, right? Uh, so, <clears throat> so the context of Bhupan Kakkar is, historical context of Bhupan Kakkar is the uh, activist group, at activist uh, time. So by the time Bhupan Kakkar came out of the closet, he was already an established artist. I'm actually now changing my discussion to something else, that it was somewhat easy for Bhupan. To, to get acceptance as a gay painter because he was already an established. I mean, one a good example is Geeta Kapoor's Six Contemporaries. Yesterday I referred to that, that book yesterday to my workshop uh, crowd. That saying that, that those six chapters in that book is a history of contemporary art in a way. And the last chapter is Bhupan Kakkar. Why? Because that is the shift, to, shift towards popular realism, pop realism, the bazaar uh, realism in, in Bhupen. So otherwise, the high modern with uh, Susa, Raza, Hussain, Ram Kumar, Padamsi, etc., etc., and uh, Swaminathan, Indianness, etc., discourse of Indianness, and then come to Bhupen Kakkar. 
So Pupin was already written about and was, was an important artist before he came out of the closet. So that actually was very useful for him. If somebody has to be a gay painter from the beginning and get acceptance, it is somewhat difficult, right? He was established a pioneer of very many things other than his sexuality. Now, that is, that is going to go against him, you will see as we proceed further. Kaka came out of the closet by gathering his strength from the international gay liberation movement. As I said, that he was in London, he saw people living together, he saw, uh, you know, that it is possible to do such kind of uh, thing, uh, especially its manifestation in life in the 80s. Now, I'm going to refer his paintings before his coming out of the closet what he was doing before 1981, before he came out of closet. He himself described it when he talked to me, he himself described it as ribboned packages. Those earlier works as ribboned packages, malab achi se pack kiya hua, nicely ribboned, you know, gift jesa pack kiya hua. Visualized with great detailing and itemized and finished to the extent possible where he aspired for absolute fidelity or satya ke prati nishta rakhne wala ek kalakar. Jo dekhta hai, ohi mein banaunga. Usse zyada aur kam kuch nahi banaunga. He was not a trained artist. He was very odd in his, uh, you know, uh, craftmanly skill. But he tried very level best to kind of get that sense of realism. Uh, so, uh, so he was very, very. ये जो सत्यवादी था, जो जो दिखता है, वो ही पेंट करूँगा. तो that is his uh, uh, his painting of 1970s. You know, you find this man eating jalebi. Unusual theme. He always took. Who paints man eating jalebi? And what is this jalebi? You know. I mean, it's not something that is very respectable as far as thematic is concerned. You check uh, other artists, you know. It's about loneliness, it's about existential angst, it is about, you know, social problems, you know, banaras, whatever you say, you know. But here is a man who is talking about something very commonplace, man-eating jalebi. Now, but look at the man's face. It's very important to see if in a retrospective manner, from our knowledge about him of later time, it's an old lonely man with anxiety, you know? And he also pointed out the gesture there is somewhat obscene, something to do with his sexuality. Both the hands. Now, this is how he expressed his love for men in his earlier painting. This is still earlier, 1971. This is one of his lovers, Shankar Bhai Patel, in front of uh, Red Fort. Now, this is the beginning of uh, Gulam Sheikh and Bhupan Ghaga. They shared their interest in this uh, kind of uh, miniature painting. Uh, paintings. Sheikh's own painting at this time is returning home, returning home. Mother's portrait, you know, in the foreground. So, same time, because both of them were collaborators, very closely kind of shared their ideas at this point in time. And always they are, they, these are lonely men. His Bupen's paintings are always about lonely men. This is a man, Janta Watch repairing. And he related to these people, actually, very constantly, the middle class people he was relating to. So, <clears throat> now, if you see this, this kind of uh, very ribboned, very finished kind of works, and take it to his later works. Now, he self-consciously and systematically worked away from that kind of finished uh, way of working. Importantly, this shift over coincided with this gay identity. The, it is this gay declaration or coming out of the closet that made his fidelity to realism, that commitment to realism, 
uh, mm, uh, uh, kind of uh, transferred it. Another work of his, uh, before coming out of the closet, the man with bouquet of fla plastic flowers. Uh, again, the man is seems, uh, you know, uh, lonely. And so nobody guessed actually the poop and 